Hey everybody, how you do? I'm still gonna roll up. So like many of you, I've had a lot of time to just sit at home and think about things. And I actually had a revelation, which I will share with you. But first, let's take a look at a viewer comment. Zoop writes, to be honest, I'm basically fascinated that you host and produce real actual shows for big channels, yet still take the time and energy to make YouTube videos. I hope you find it fulfilling despite feeling like you're fighting the tides. Thank you for a very thoughtful comment. So for those of you just joining, uh, yes, I have a YouTube channel, but yes, I also have a life outside of this YouTube channel. Over the past couple of years, I've really stepped away from focusing just on this YouTube channel and producing and hosting content for other entities. I've been really content in my current role as a digital producer and host for Discovery, making travel, food, and crafting content. You know, it's funny, when I started doing this, I don't think people really understood the point of having a YouTube channel. Like what's a million fans gonna do for you? But now, it's like people don't understand the point of having a YouTube channel if you aren't actively trying to get to a million fans. Having a YouTube channel has led to a lot of incredible opportunities for me outside of this particular YouTube channel. You know, for some of us, YouTube is just a portfolio, it's a creative outlet, it's a place to keep in touch with the community that we do have. Which is not to say that I wouldn't love to have a million fans, but uh, I think what I realized for me was that it made more sense to focus on opportunities and my life out here. Um, instead of focusing on what's happening in here, on here. I would like to think that I've reached a place in my life now where I'm much more, much less cranky. Uh, it's always been at the back of my mind that I would like to be more active on YouTube and I need to stop disappearing. But then I think about how much energy that takes and, uh, in the past, I've really prided myself in not playing by the rules, but I've invested a lot of time this month learning about SEO and the algorithm and realizing that I've done a lot of things wrong. Algorithms learn from you, and I don't know what it's learned from me. So starting this week and into 2021, I'm committing to posting twice a week on Tuesday and Friday. I know what you're thinking, I'm the king of announcing that I'm gonna do something and then doing it and then disappearing for three to six months. Or I do a lot of limited series which have a beginning and an end. We need to train this algorithm and my audience to expect a video on Tuesdays and Fridays. No more daily uploads and then disappearing or random weeks where there will be four videos. As much as I think it's a pleasant surprise, uh, it just confuses every thing. That being said, it's always a good idea to follow me on another platform, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or TikTok. Um, it's much easier to push out an update there and to make sure that you see it as opposed to YouTube, which... So that's the update. I'm looking forward to seeing you again on Tuesday. I have a really special video about my last trip to Japan. I'm feeling really good about this because I do so well with structure and unlike 22 songs or Vita, I think that this is gonna be much more manageable because so much of my life out here is stable. And uh, I'm looking forward to having fun with this again. In the comments below, let me know what you're watching on YouTube these days or other media that you're consuming. Uh, I'd love to know. And I will see you again on Tuesday. À la prochaine. Somewhere.